welcome to the next video for iDump Classic Pro 2013. In this video we are going to copy some tracks um, from our iTouch to iTunes. So when you start the application, click on the iTunes tab. Now before you can copy tracks to iTunes, if you've just installed iTunes, please make sure that you start iTunes and stop iTunes because what iTunes needs to make sure exists and what we need to make sure exists is that the database file that iTunes uses so when you first start iTunes it will create this in the iTunes folder if, you want, if your uh, iTunes database is held elsewhere uh, on a different disk then just select the iTunes appropriate iTunes database and it will read it and if there's any tracks in it it will populate them in the list on the right hand side here you have a list of playlists that are already available so what I want to do here is I want to copy some tracks let's go for ting tings and I want to copy them into iTunes so what I'll do is it's just a small playlist I'll just select all here but I want to put them into iTunes into their own playlist I don't want to you know I can copy it into iTunes and it'll just ap appear in the master playlist with no other um, you know playlists there that have been created during this copy process but what I want to do is I want to create a playlist so I'm going to copy it and I want to call it ting tings so when you click the start button it will automatically read the database create ting tings playlist and then copy these tracks into that playlist you have the option here to convert those tracks into a different audio format and you can also set the quality but I'm just going to leave them as they are Now the copy is finished, the, the program automatically displays the contents of that playlist. So you can go to all tracks as they're the only tracks there or the Ting Ting's playlist. You can, again, as they're the only tracks there, it will display those. So what I'll do here, let's go into all tracks. Let's select, say some cold play here. checked and what I want to do is I don't want to create a playlist but I do want to convert them into AAC format and keep the quality low on this one so now I'll just do a start the copy and I'll pause it for a bit as the conversion will take a little time now that the uh, copy is completed see that we have Pink Floyd copied into iTunes tracks have been copied into the iTunes folder we launch iTunes now that error message has appeared because this application is still open and it's locked the iTunes database. So if we close that down, launch iTunes. I'm 
obviously our playlist here that was imported earlier. We can also see all of our tracks that we copied in there. And that's it, it's as easy as that. Copying from source to destination, set the conversion if you wish, hit the button and the tracks are copied back to iTunes. The next video will talk about copying from the device to um, PC folder. So see you then.